Do you think it could be worse in the UK than we've seen in Italy? Honestly speaking, I'm not surprised because when I looked at some images of the, the London tube or uh, some gatherings, some mass gatherings uh, uh, that uh, happened when we already had the impression that uh, this was dangerous, I think that this was a, a kind of example that could be avoided. At what point do you think the UK, Boris Johnson, should have implemented lockdown? Uh, I would say at least 10 days ago that having had the example of Italy, the UK could have adopted much earlier. What difference will that have made that it didn't happen 10 days ago? Mm, the, the, the cases that they have been generated 10 days ago wouldn't have taken place. Uh, when, when you take this decision uh, late than possible, you pay a price in, uh, in sick people and in deaths, and certainly this is somehow something that could be avoided. And could it result in a longer lockdown? Yeah. I think at least one month, but I guess that could be even longer. How long will it be before life returns to some sort of normality? I think uh, that we are going to have a new abnormality in the, in the, in the short term, which means that if we use uh, uh, appropriate testing and uh, technological tracking, uh, we can limit the mobility of people not to the whole country or to the whole city or to the whole collectivity, but to specific people, protecting, uh, of course, uh, them if they have to go to work or to do something else. Uh, this is going to last for months. Uh, I think that when we will have a new uh, therapeutics, a new drug and a new vaccine, this is going to be the only prerequisite to go to the normality, as we uh, used to, to say before. But I think it will take months. And when will the old normal return? How long will it take for a vaccine? Uh, of course, uh, there are many research centers that are searching uh, for a vaccine, and, but uh, certainly there will be no, no earlier than one year. I mean, this is the minimum amount of time that we are able to test it, uh, to prove that it is safe, uh, that it is effective, uh, and of course that we are confident to give it to billions of people. How long do you think it will be before people will be able to travel again within Europe? I don't know exactly. This is very difficult to say. My, uh, my focus is that uh, we are not going to do that before summer. So if we look at SARS that happened in 2002 and 2003, SARS was a, a, a coronavirus uh, which was uh, less uh, contagious, uh, even if more lethal. This is less lethal in comparison with SARS, but it's more contagious. And the SARS outbreaks ended in May, June. So if this is a, an example, I don't think that will be earlier than that, possibly later than that. If travel does return within Europe by the summer, what conditions will travelers be in? Uh, essentially, they will be said, please take care. Uh, please, uh, uh, social distancing is important. Uh, of course, this is not going to be easy in airplanes or in trains, you know, because the distance in this public transport is not certainly the, the, the safety distance, uh, but uh, there will be a kind of warning. So please take care and behave carefully because the virus is still here and that could be coming again. Just lastly, there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress a lot of fear, what would you say to people, not just in Italy, but in Europe? Uh, I would say that in the, in the history of mankind, uh, we have always won this kind of battle, even when we had much less uh, uh, science, much less technology than we have now. So we will come out, uh, I think we will come out stronger from this situation, because we will be understanding that uh, this is something that uh, we have to, to, to fight together, uh, there will be a, a stronger emphasis on, on health, on public health, on the, nation, on the importance of national service, not to cut it. Uh, it will be uh, important to underline the, 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 the role of doctors, nurses, healthcare personnel, sometimes neglected in the past. And I think it will be important to understand that to avoid, uh, to be unprepared for the next pandemic, uh, we have to prepare carefully. Do you think it will make human beings a bit kinder. As well. I think from a very bad situation uh, a human being can, can, can get out better. Thank you. Thank you.